When the wedding band suddenly stopped playing, this bride realized an uninvited guest had arrived. After a turbulent engagement, Samantha Kalrish and Taylor Sinclair finally tied the knot in 2015. And following their dream ceremony, the couple took to the floor to enjoy their first dance. However, just as the newlyweds started to move, the band stopped playing and announced the arrival of a wedding crusher. Garish first met Sinclair at a baseball game. At the time, he was playing for minor league side Visalia Rohide while she was watching in the stands. But despite the unconventional nature of their meeting, love somehow blossomed. The couple dated long distance until Sinclair eventually relocated to California to be with Karish. For four years, in fact, the young lovers dated happily until Sinclair finally proposed to the love of his life on a vacation to Mexico in 2014. What's more, Karish agreed to tie the knot with Sinclair and when the pair arrived home they excitedly threw themselves into wedding planning. They intended to return to Cancun, where they had gotten engaged, to marry in front of their friends and family. But that was not to be. The day after the couple returned from a wedding planning trip to Mexico in October 2014, Karish got some worrying news. Her mother's multiple sclerosis had worsened, and as a result, she would be unable to travel to her daughter's wedding. Immediately, then, Karish and Sinclair scrapped their wedding destination idea and instead started planning a ceremony in California. After spending a month looking at venues, however, the couple were dealt yet another blow. After experiencing acute pain in her side, Karish's mother learned that she had colon cancer and in the words of her doctor, her prognosis didn't look good. So, with her mom's health hanging in the balance, Karish and Sinclair abandoned their wedding plans once more. The doting daughter then relocated from her home in Redondo Beach, CA, to Simi Valley, CA, to care for her mom, seeing her fiancé only at weekends. And it was during this desperate time that the bride-to-be searched online for ideas on how to throw a cheap wedding. That's when she came across the Not Dream Wedding. Each couple who enter the competition stand the chance of having their entire ceremony funded by wedding website The Knot. The only catch is that every detail of the big day, from the invitations to the honeymoon, is voted for by members of the American public. And while many brides would probably find relinquishing control of their wedding unthinkable, to Karish it sounded perfect. The planning would be handled by America, allowing all of my attention to remain on my mom's situation, she told the knot. Karish therefore decided to enter the competition, and much to her surprise, she and Sinclair won. As a result, the couple could concentrate on their family while the public took care of their wedding. All the pair really had to do was show up at the Chateau St. John Winery in their home state on June 4, 2015 and say, I do. Given that almost every aspect of their nuptials had been voted for online, Karish and Sinclair felt prepared for their big day. However, there was still one surprise in store, and it involved their first dance as husband and wife. For their dance floor debut as a married couple, Karish and Sinclair choose Love You Like That by Kane and Smith. Explaining their song choice in June 2015, Sinclair told the knot, Just listening to the song makes us both smile and reminds us of each other, our relationship and our love for one another. With that in mind, the couple's first dance looked set to be a very special moment indeed. Needless to say, then it was caught on camera. And in the resulting footage, the new Mr. and Mrs. Sinclair can be seen staring into each other's eyes as they sway gently to the music. However, just as the pair are getting into their groove in the footage, the band come to an abrupt standstill. You know, we have a better idea, one of the musicians announces. Sam and Taylor, we have a special guest who is here to sing you your first dance song. 
states then that the couple look behind them to see Kane and Smith walking towards the stage, clutching his guitar. The country singer had flown into California that very morning to deliver the couple a special surprise, something that was well deserved given the struggles that they had been through. So, after seemingly getting over the initial shock of having a bona fide country star at their wedding, the newlyweds eased into their first dance, joyously singing along with Smith as he played. It is likely a moment that neither Karish nor Sinclair will ever forget. Speaking after the dance, Karish gushed, that was beyond our wildest dreams. That threw us for a loop when they stopped the music and we said, What's going on? Did they forget the song? We were like, what happened? The bride added, we have loved the song from the second that we heard it. I honestly think the second we heard that song we knew. I showed it to Taylor and I said, Taylor, I think this should be our first dance song. And he was like, oh, absolutely. So in the end, Karish and Sinclair finally got the wedding of their dreams, and thanks to Smith's surprise appearance, they gave their family and friends a day that they would always cherish, no matter what ups and downs the future has in store.